Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a review of another neat uh, Whoop. This is the Beta 85X HD, the CineWhoop. What is a CineWhoop? Well, it has a very nice camera on it. It has 1080p Cat X Turtle V2 camera. Um, it, it Actually, it's a really nice little camera. But what's special about it is it also has a built-in DVR that records directly to a micro SD card. And not only that, it records 1080p video to that micro SD card at 60 frames per second, if you wish. Okay, uh, that can be changed and edited. Um, the camera, um, the DVR, and the camera functions can be edited using this uh, little controller here that you'll need to plug in to the quadcopter to be able to do such, but uh, that's pretty neat. But on top of that, it also has on-screen display um, video that you can actually control using beta FPV. You can modify the settings of the on-screen display. Other things that this drone has, it has this 48 channel uh, 0, 25, and 200 milliwatt FPV transmitter, okay, that's, you know, switchable transmitter, again, with on-screen display. It has a very nice Lumineer XII antenna also with, with this, and on top of that, the flight control board is an Omnibus F4ST flight control board loaded up with Betaflight, in Betaflight, with 3.5.0 dated August 14th, 2018. In addition, it has BL Heli, um, three, three, BL Heli 32 ESCs on board uh, with 16 amp and 25 amp maximum uh, um, power that can go through them. Uh, Beta FPV motors uh, with 1105 6000 kV motors on board here. And with all that in mind, you need to keep in mind that even though this has up to 25 amps, uh, the maximum that you wish to use, the maximum battery power is 3S. Now some people have been trying 4S with this particular drone and if you do, those some people have been having problems with a 4S. Uh, some of those have been burned out the, I, I think it's the flight control board is limited by uh, up to a uh, 3S battery. So keep that in mind, the maximum battery you want to use with this is a 3S currently. Now this is available in Free Sky, Fly Sky, um, DSMX, Futaba, TBS Crossfire. I don't know if you <laughs> why anybody would be using, be using DPS Crossfire with this, but it's possible. And also plug and play if you want to provide your own uh, particular receiver on this. Now, uh, additionally, there are options available if you do break <laughs> the propeller guards on your little Sino Uh They do have spare propeller guards widely available to include, in, you know, to add on if you do bash this up. Now the thing I like about Beta FPV is normally their drones are well tuned. Okay, They actually fly these before they send them out and tune the PIDs. So um, I'm hoping this is going to be the same thing. But I can't uh, guarantee that. One thing also that i got to mention about this is that the this comes in two versions. The Beta, Beta 85X basic version with a uh, EOS camera, EOS 2 camera, that's tiltable from 25 to 45 degrees up. But this HD version with the Turtle camera, Cadex Turtle camera, really can't be pushed upward. You know, it it's uh, set to 25 degrees, and I've tried moving it upward, but that ca this camera is just too large to be uh, tiltable. You know, it's it's stopped by the canopy on the drone, so you re it's really set to 25 degrees. You really can't adjust the HD version of this drone. So, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that's a con for me because I like to fly fast at maximum pitch, but we're going to be limited to 25 degrees, but we'll see. This camera might outweigh that minor con on this. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Let's take it out and fly it. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and we are out in a beautiful day out in the desert here today. And I got the Beta 85 uh, HD set up, 85X HD, and uh, let's set it to uh, Acro. And let's arm it. And we are armed. And let's take to the air and see how this performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let me get a feel for it first. Coming around. The camera looks good. And let's try to get some speed. We're going to do some uh, low runs by us here. First up, just to get a feel for it. Now. This is not my first flight of this drone, <laughs> okay? 
I took this out last week to fly it, and I found there was an issue with it. Um, I was noticing lines in the video, okay, in the HD recorded video. Um, it really looked good, except for those lines. And I found out that there is a firmware upgrade for this drone that is needed. Um, it's very simple to do. It's for the camera. The Turtle camera has to have a firmware update upgrade, at least in the version that I got. And uh, if not, you get these lines in the video, which were kind of unpleasant to see, <laughs> especially with a nice camera like this on there. Okay, but with that in mind, let's take this up and show this camera. Now, it is springtime here in the desert. The desert's somewhat green, greener than normal. Um, and we got flowers. Uh, there's small flowers right now. Bigger flowers come out a little bit later out in the area, but now I'm trying to fly this fast and low. And the problem is, is again, that camera, that turtle camera is too big for the canopy and can only be tilted about 25 degrees up. And that kind of limits you at the speed that you can fly it to this. Okay, I can't go much faster because I go faster and I start tilting my neck up and I can't see their eyes and that's and it makes it hard to fly. This is about as fast as I can get it going. Again, I'm not seeing the horizon when I do such. So keep that in mind, folks. With this camera, you know, you can get great picture. But with that great picture, um, you can't get super fast speed because you can't tilt the camera out. Coming around, coming around. And do another pass by us. Okay. So, you know, again, meant to be a small camera bird that you can take with you just about anywhere and have few people complaining about it because of its size. I'm just flying it slow and just showing its camera. I'm just going to show that. I'm a pie here on this beautiful day out here in the desert. Coming around, coming around, then coming a little lower, coming a little lower. So, you know, not a, not a shabby little drone. Quite a nice camera. But again, that camera does need... Oh, I'm tilting my head. <laughs> trying that, just trying... You know, it's not super acrobatic. Here, I'm gonna try this. Forward flip, back flip. <laughs> so, not super acrobatic. Uh, you know, that camera does probably seem a little bit heavy for it. But, again, this can only be flown up to 3S battery currently. I guess people have been trying to put 4S in this. Not a good idea. Come by us again. Zoom. <laughs> and I'm going to be landing here shortly in a bit, but today it's flying nicely. It was flying nicely the other day, except for those lines. It just didn't look very good with those lines. <laughs> Coming lower. Trying to go lower and faster. Whoa! <laughs> that one came up with me. So, it's flying nice. I'm going to be bringing it in here shortly, though. Because, again, the battery... Well, the battery still has some power on it. 3.4. When it starts going below 3.4, that's when I start to worry. So, let's go up one more time to show that camera slowly. And now we got to really think about coming in. So bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down. Setting myself up for a landing approach. Where's that pad? Where's that pad? Where's that pad? There we go. <laughs> cool drone. Actually, really cool drone. Okay. So let me stop all the videos that I'm recording. And I'm recording quite a few here. I got a... Uh, recording on my FXT goggles here and I also got an FXT 60 frames per second recorder folks I'm going to be reviewing this in the near future this is pretty neat too I hope that comes out it came out and also I, let me take that hat from my wife and we'll go over give you my thoughts on the 85 HD so overall you're looking for a whoop with a nice camera on it this just might be it folks um here I got to turn off the camera make sure I got that video recording before I unplug it I'm going to also double check on my screen because it shows on the, the um, FPV screen whether it's recording or not but that is the beta 85 X HD not a shabby little 
drone. I like it. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.